Hi, I'm Daniel Foley from Nut Off Training Center, and welcome to our daily community meditation, where today we're talking about standing firm in the faith. So this month in July of 2023, our message for the month is being bold leads to God's best. Now, part of being bold is standing firm in the faith. 1 Corinthians 16, 13, it says, be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. Yesterday, we talked about being strong and courageous because we know that God is with us. He's going to be there with us. He's going to uphold us. He's going to strengthen us. But then we got to take that strength. we got to take that courage. And we got to stand firm in the faith, unwavering in the faith, keeping our eyes fixed on God, believing in him, trusting in him, resting in those promises, even when it seems like things are going against him. And so we're going to take communion over this today, asking God to help us to stand firm in the faith the way that he intended us to. But let's get started with our daily prayer, and then we'll get into our time of communion after that. Heavenly Father, I pray for everybody who's watching or listening, their families, their friends, everybody connected to them, and all of our church and governmental leaders. And I thank you for releasing us from darkness and transferring us into the light into the kingdom of your dear son. I thank you for your purpose and grace given to us in Christ Jesus before time ever began. And that Jesus was struck down, he was smitten, bruised and pierced and crushed and destroyed. Also that you could be on our side, that you could be fighting for us. And I keep asking that you, the father of glory, would give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that we would know you more and more that the eyes of our hearts would be enlightened to know the hope to which you've called us and the riches of your glorious inheritance that is in us and the immeasurable greatness of your power to us who believe, the same power that you exercised in Christ when you raised him from the dead and you seated him at your right hand in heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And you put all things under his feet and made him to be the head of the body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. And Father, I ask you to bless us and to make your face shine upon us. Let us find grace and favor in your eyes. Expand our borders and our territory. Expand our capacity to receive everything you've given us in Christ. And to let it flow through us, that we do good and are a blessing to people all over the world. Send us opportunities to do good and be a blessing today. And help us make the most of those opportunities. Keep your hand on us and help us do today what's right and best in your eyes. And do it with peace and joy and confidence in you. And we ask you to stretch out your hand to heal. And do signs and wonders and keep us from evil and pain. Through the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Say, so, Father, we're asking for your help today. Help us to stand firm in the faith. Being strong and courageous the way that you intended us to be. Because we keep our eyes fixed on you. Just think about it, the in the book of Hebrews, I believe it is. It says that Moses persevered because he saw him who was invisible. God's promised to be with us, to never leave us or forsake us. He's promised to sustain us, to strengthen us, to uphold us with his right hand. And we can take those promises and we can stand firm in the faith, believing in him, trusting in him. And so, Father, we thank you. And then at Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread and said, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, you laid upon Jesus the punishment that we deserved. And by his stripes you've been healed. He was crushed and destroyed by you, smitten by you. So that we could be right and holy and perfect in your sight. All through his one sacrifice. And you raised him up from the dead. And you seated him at your right hand. And you raised us up together with him. And made us sit together with him. And we get this opportunity today to remember we've been made one with you. We've got you on our side. 
through the sacrifice of Jesus. And so let's just take a moment to remember our fundamentals real quick. We've got God with us. He's right there with us every step of the way. you got this all-surpassing power from God on the inside of you, this treasure on the inside. And we get this opportunity to walk in the light with God today. And the shortcut to walking in the light, one of the, one of the ways we stand firm in the light or stand firm in the faith is by staying positioned in gratitude. Stand firm in gratitude. And then we got to keep filling up that basket of praise, praising God for who he is and all the promises that we have in Christ. Then we got to stay tuned into him, stay connected to him, and then take action. Do those things that you know to do. But Father, I thank you for this bread and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and take our bread. Then after supper, Jesus took the cup. And he said, this is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. And it's the forgiveness of sins that released us from darkness. And transferred us into the light. We get to have this covenant relationship with you, Father. A partnership with you. But we do have a part to play giving ourselves and other people the same grace and love and forgiveness that you've given us. And so, Father, I thank you for this cup and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and take our juice. All right, let's talk about standing firm in the faith in our health and fitness. So we've got to be consistent. you got to stand firm in those habits you're developing, showing up consistently for your workouts, showing up consistently in your nutrition. Standing firm in those habits when things try to derail you, keeping those rhythms, keeping those habits in place. But I hope this has been helpful for today. If you'd like to be a part of what we're doing in the Abundant Life Blueprint, you go to the Abundant Life Training Center.com.